Welcome to another video. Yesterday, I covered how you can create applications using Aider. And a few days ago, I also covered how you can create games with Aider. One thing common between these videos is that I used Claude 3.5 Sonnet in both because it's one of the greatest models for coding. But this doesn't mean it's the only model. There are many open source LLMs giving Claude a run for its money. So today, I'll be creating a game with open source LLMs using Aider. Just like my previous video, I'll be creating game sprites and images via Invoke AI, sound effects via Eleven Labs, music via Udio, and I'll also be creating start screens, end screens, and everything that a proper game has. Now, this raises the question, what will I be creating, and which model will I be using? Well, if we look at the Aider leaderboard, you can see that the first one is Claude 3.5 Sonnet, while the second one is DeepSeek Coder V2. Although this model has the big 200 billion parameter variant, it means that it should work fine with the small DeepSeek Coder V2 model as well, because in my tests, it is the best coding I have seen till now. So, I'll use that. But what will I be creating? Well, I'll be creating a space shooter arcade game. Many of you may have played it in the old days. Basically, there's a spaceship that shoots lasers, and enemies keep spawning from the top, which need to be killed by the player. If the spaceship touches any enemy, the game's over. It's nothing out of the world, but more of a proof of concept. Also, I'll be using Lightning AI to make it all work. They give free 22 hours of GPU, so you can do all the steps that I'm going to show you for free. So, let's get started and check it out. First, we'll need to get Olama installed. To do that, go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page. Now, click on the DeepSeek Coder V2 model and copy the installation command. Now, paste it in your terminal and it will get installed. Once done, send a message and check if it works. Once that's done, we'll need to get Aider installed. To do that, just run this pip install Aider chat command. Once it has been installed, create a new folder and initialize the GitHub repo. Now, just run this export Olama base URL command. Once done, you can use Aider with the model operator and adding Olama slash and model name. In my case, it's DeepSeek Coder V2. So, I'll keep that. Now, let's ask it to create the game. By the way, I'll be using HTML, CSS, and JS. So, let's ask it to do that. Now, let's send the prompt. So, it's getting generated now. Let's wait a bit. Okay, it's now generated. Let's look at the code first. Okay, this looks fine. Now let's run it and check. Hmm, this looks really cool. It does all the basic stuff. Although it's too easy, there's no pause game button, and there's no start screen. So, let's ask it to add those things in. Okay, it's now done. Let's look at it. Okay, so it has done those things now, and it works even better than before. It is more challenging, has the pause button, and the start screen. There were also some smaller bugs, which I also got fixed. And I also fixed the font, so that it looks more retro. Now, let's add the images and sprites. To do that, first, let's ask Aider to make the changes, and give us the file names, and resolution of the images to generate. Okay, it has done the changes and has given the list of images to create over here. So, let's get it generated. I'll be using Invoke AI to generate them. It's open source, and you can easily get it configured on the same Lightning Studio that you'll use. You can look at my dedicated video on how to configure it. It's pretty easy. Also, if you want, you can use any other image generator, like Playground, or any other. 
Now, let's generate the images. First, let's generate the background. Okay, so this is the background that it generated on the first try. I like it, so let's keep it. I also generated the spaceship sprite, and it generated eight images in one. I like this one in this, so let's keep it. Also, if you are watching the video till here, then comment Space King. This tells me how many of you are really watching my whole long video. Anyway, I also generated the alien image, and I like this one. I also generated the fast alien image, and I like this one. I also generated this bullet icon. So, these were the sprites and background. I uploaded them to the Lightning Studio, and now the game looks like this. It's really cool. It works pretty well. Now, let's also generate the music. To do that, let's use Udio. You can go there and generate songs for free. I generated this song, which I like. You can hear it. Okay, so this is pretty good. Now, let's create the sound effect for bullet shoot and hit. To do that, you can use Eleven Labs, which is also free. So, here are the sound effects that I have made. This is the shoot sound. This is the hit sound. Okay, now I uploaded it over in Lightning Studio. Now, let's ask Ader to incorporate these sounds in the game. Okay, it's now done. Now, after this, I also asked it to add a mute button and some other fixes. Now, let me give you a final walkthrough of it. So, here's the main page. You can see the Space King title here. If you click the Start button, you'll enter the game where you navigate using your mouse. If you click, you'll shoot a laser. If the laser meets the alien, then the alien will be gone. There's also a red alien, which is faster and smaller, making it difficult to kill. If the alien hits you, the game will be over, and you'll see this screen. This was a really fun thing to do. And imagine you can now do these things for free. I mean, it used to take a long time to create these games, and now it's super easy. I didn't think that the Deep Seek coder could get this done, but it's literally on par with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is a 30 times bigger model than this. Because Ader and other tools do things step by step, it makes it easier to get these things done even by smaller models. Overall, it's pretty cool. Also, these videos that I make have footage over two hours, and you can see that the videos I make are less than 10 minutes long, which obviously means that I need to cut a lot of prompts and other things that I do to get better outputs. Many of you ask me for the whole video, so please let me know if you would be interested in a membership on my channel where I can release the uncut long videos and even the code. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.